Hello everybody, this is Nicole with HelpMomaRemote.com. Just coming to share my um, Costco haul with you today. I always want to do Costco hauls, but by the time I come try to hurry up and put things up, I have everything put up and I don't get a chance to do a haul. So, um, have everything out that I purchased at Costco. I don't know, I'm, I might, oh, I don't have my meat because I did put that in the freezer. But just want to share a couple... A few things that I purchased today and a couple things that I wish I had a purchased at Costco. Those of you that know me know I heart Costco. <laughs> oh, I have a hashtag uh, crushing on Costco. So I love Costco. But anyway, so I'm going to start over from the right in the back. And I um, bought some Mrs. Buttersworth um, syrup. And... I don't remember the last time I had Mrs. Butter, Buttersworth. Can't remember what it tastes like, but I felt I better go ahead and go ahead and get these because it's, um, I won't have to purchase it so often. I had like three bottles of, I can't think of that other syrup. I think we're down to like the last one, so I'm sure this is going to last us a nice little while. Um, also, I purchased some Honey Nut Cheerios and this come two boxes in a pack and I get them for my husband um so for hun the honey nut cheerios and famous amos cookies and yes it's a shame but I bought two because every time I go I'll buy my husband a bag and his lasts really long but I'm always creeping he puts them in a, his nightstand so I'm always creeping on his side of the bed still in his famous famous cookies so I'm like this time I'm by my own and it's probably just a sin and I shouldn't have bought them but I'm gonna enjoy my own bag of famous famous cookies so I purchased two bags of famous famous cookies and um this time I have never purchased this shredded cheese from Costco I usually always go to Aldi and get like three bags of cheese in which they're like either $2.29 or $2.99 a bag. So I was thinking these were these are $12.99. So I said, okay, maybe I should go ahead and try a bulk because I'm going to use it pretty much for everything. I'll use it for tacos. I'll use it for lasagna, anything and everything. I'm going to use it, you know, anything that I need to put shredded cheese on. And I really didn't care of if I had a shredded um, jack cheese, mozzarella I don't care usually I use whatever I have when I'm making something that I that I need cheese in so I purchased this and it comes two bags and a pack also I was looking for some chipotle um peppers like this in a jar um I was telling my son these are the only ones I found they're not chipotle peppers but they're um florina peppers whole sweet my son said they come in a can so I, because i was looking i went to a couple stores today and i didn't look for cans i was looking for jar chipotle peppers but i saw these at costco i said okay i'm gonna go ahead and give them a try just to add them to some of my dishes so i got those um also when i go i usually get like two um like coffee you know, any kind of coffee bread or something that, that my husband can take in the morning with his um, coffee. Because, you know, we do our coffee here and take him some coffee bread, you know, some kind of coffee bread, um, coffee cake or something. And he could eat it on his way to work because he has a nice little ride. So I asked him what he wanted. So he got the coffee cake and we got the um, Danish pull apart. So that's what I got this time. Um, I just had one bottle here because I put these over in my bar area, the Starbucks Frappuccinos. I got a case of them, and I want to say about 18 come in a case. And they're on sale this week, this month. I think it's this month. They're on sale. I think it's like $3 off, so they were like $10 and something. Also, I always get this bread for his sandwiches for lunch. So I got this. It is so good. Um... Got him some of these rolls, and I forgot my Nan bread. I was on my way home, and I realized that I forgot the Nan bread. So I'm going to have to go back to Costco, Costco within um, maybe a couple weeks or so to get some Nan bread. And I did not want to buy it from Walmart because 
the package from Walmart only has maybe four pieces when the Nan um, from Costco may have maybe have eight or ten pieces. I'm not quite sure how many um, pieces of it it has in there. I um, also got these because um, I like them with coffee. The biscotte. So I got some of those. Um, I got these Capri Suns. I get these. These may last two months. Possibly if my kids are obedient. Um, the Capri Suns will last about two months because my daughter takes them for lunch. My son, when he wants to take lunch, he takes them for lunch as well. So I get this and I was so happy that I did not get them from Food for Less today because Food for Less had them for like $7.99 and Costco had them for want to say $5.99 and I could not remember how much they were at Costco. So I held off at Food for Less and... Got them at Costco and I was so happy because four it's four boxes. So I was cool with that. And I'm going to tell you a little story about me um, buying something from somewhere else first. Okay, um, the French Vanilla Creamer. Uh, um, these last about possibly three months. So we were out of this. Um, one is in the refrigerator and the other two I always put in the freezer and take them out when we finish one. Um, turkey Bacon. That'll last us possibly a month. One time I went to Costco when they had the turkey bacon on sale. And I want to say it was like $5.99. I bought about three boxes of turkey bacon. And we were going through that turkey bacon like it was going to leave. or <laughs> It was a shame. So now when I get one box, it's amazing how long it lasts. But I'm also not making breakfast every morning it was also i was making breakfast kind of frequently too so that was another reason um so i got the turkey bacon and i got these hot pockets in this 17 value pack i was excited i don't know how much they were at food for less i didn't even look but these i want to say were about 7.99 and they're perfect my daughter is away at college usually she run through through these it's usually like a pack of a box of 12 and she run through these within like two days so we might have them a little longer, but my son, who knows how quick he'll go through it. I'm sure he'll eat them as a snack when he come home from school and who knows when else because you know how kids are when they're growing. Okay, so now these two items right here. Um, the panko bread, crum bread crumbs I got from Food for Less and I got this gluten-free bread from Whole Foods. Go to Costco. They have a huge box of this. A big box. And I want to say it was between $5.99 and $7.99. I want to say I probably possibly paid about $2.99 for this. Can't remember. But I was just mad because I would have rather got a larger box of this. So I will not be buying this anymore from anywhere else. I will be getting it from Costco as long as they carry it. And I hope they carry it for a while. As well as this bread. I have never seen this bread at Costco before because I go to Whole Foods and get it for my daughter. And lo and behold, they have a big pack of this Udi's gluten-free bread. When I say a big pack, it's like large slices of bread. So I was really upset. And I want to say it was possibly $7.99. And I would rather pay $7.99 for a larger bag. Say double this size pack see how little this is double this size pack pack of bread and the bread is larger i could cut her one slice of bread to make one sandwich you know cut the um, bread in half and use it for one sandwich so i'll be like i say purchasing it, purchasing it from costco from now on because um to me it was a better deal and the last thing this wasn't I'm trying to make sure i didn't get anything else i think i told you i put my meat in the freezer and I purchased today with some salmon, some codfish, I think it was, and tilapia. Seemed like I had another pack. Okay, I had two packs of salmon. So that was the only um fish. I love getting my fish from there because it's pretty fresh. I used to get it from Aldi in the frozen pack, but I'm ca I kind of like moved away from that. I still put it in the freezer after I purchase it, but it's just so much fresher and doesn't have that fishy smell or taste. Okay, the last thing I went to get today was at Macy's. I had a gift card. 
And I went to get me my first La Crusade, I think I'm saying the word right, pot. And like I said, I had a $40 gift card. This was like $59.99, so I added about... Um, I had to add about $15 because the gift card was like for $48. So this is a stock pot and it's a La Crusit. And I don't know, like I say, many of you that if you're friends with me on Facebook or Instagram, you know, or anywhere else, you know, I've been really wanting to start a collection of these pots, different, you know, sizes, um, roasters, the brazier, and things like that because I, I really believe they're great quality and I did a video before about um, that I was not purchasing any more pots that had any celebrities name on it anymore I'm not doing that so um this this is I think this is it this is it um the stock pot and like I said I'm, I want to get another one and this is what it looks like inside. It's enamel. And they have a lifetime warranty. So I need to read and see if I need to go sign up anywhere. But I do plan on being. Um, as long as it works out and no little imperfections or nothing. I do believe I will be a faithful customer of theirs and add to my collection. But awesome for some oxtail soup and chili and acorn um, squash soup. I am so ready to put my foot in this child because it's going on so this is my pot isn't she beautiful so yeah so i've had the paula Deen set i was not pleased i only have three like saucepans left all my other ones the fryers i had to toss because they got scuffed up I will never ever purchase a, a, a pot that says I can't use metal utensils which I never use my metal utensils in my um Paula Deen pot but I will never ever purchase anything that's so sensitive because evidently it's really not of great quality and I had a Martha, Martha Stewart um enamel and it was messed up did not cook properly and stuff like that come to find out it was a recall on it so there you go but this is what I'm getting when it comes to any kind of cast iron or enamel I will be getting the Crusade. so this is my first pop from there so this was my haul today um and I finally got to do a video because I come in I want to put my grocery up so fast the kids were at school so I wanted to make sure everything was tidy and in order when we came in the house so Hopefully I'll be back probably with another video or so tomorrow. I have to finish a couple tutorials um, on my Valentine's Day um, decorations. And I hope you all have a very nice weekend. It's finally warming up here in Chicago. The snow is melting and it's raining. So I'm going to be in a house because it's very slippery and dangerous outside. So have a great weekend, everybody. And I'll talk to you all later. Bye-bye.